Welcome to Smart Salam, dear students. So today, again here with the 10th standard trigonometry question. Now it's a two more question which was asked in April 2019. So you can see the question is sin theta is equal to 12 upon 13. This type of or you can see a similar question was asked again and again, often in the previous year question papers. So for that reason, I have selected this particular one simple question because understanding the idea is very important. Once you get the idea of solving this question, then definitely similar question can be solved in an easy way. So understand the idea. So just focus. It's not that difficult. So given sin theta is equal to 12 by 13, we need to find what's the value of cos theta and tan theta. So let's just consider in this triangle, that is triangle A, B, C. So sin theta. So you have complete freedom to consider the theta in any part that is either in the angle A or angle C. Just for easiness, I'll consider theta is here. Now, once the theta is here, it's called opposite side. It's called adjacent side. And this is known as hypotenuse in the sense, as we know, sin theta is equal to 12 by 13. Now, what's the sine formula? It's opposite upon hypotenuse. It means the value of opposite side is 12 and that of the hypotenuse is 13. So now to find the value of cos theta. So cos theta formula is adjacent side upon hypotenuse. In the sense, we need to find the value of adjacent side. And considering the tan theta, tan theta is opposite upon adjacent. So again, opposite is already is there. Now we need to find adjacent side. It means let it be cos or tan. We need the value of adjacent side. It means let us find out this adjacent side value first, then our first will be finding the cos theta and tan theta. So to find adjacent side, it's right angle triangle. So right angle triangle is nothing but Pythagoras theorem. In the sense, apply Pythagoras theorem for this triangle. So in triangle A, B, C, angle B is equal to 90 degree. So it's a two mark question. So do not lose any steps. Write it completely in detail. Okay. So do not just skip any step no if this is 90 this is the hypotenuse as we know so ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square let's substitute the values ac it's hypotenuse and hypotenuse is 13 so in the sense this is 13 square now ab it's here it's 12 square plus bc bc we need to calculate so just write it as it is now 13 square is 169, 12 square gives us 144 plus BC square. Send 144 on the other side, but change the sign. So 169 minus 144, that is nothing but BC square. It means BC is 169 minus 144, that is 25. Square is gone, so we get square root in the sense BC is 5. So adjacent side is 5. Once we have the value of adjacent side, we can find the value of cos as well as tan. Therefore, cos theta is equal to its adjacent side upon hypotenuse. Adjacent side, it's 5. Hypotenuse, it's here, 13. Now, similarly, tan theta. So, tan theta is opposite upon adjacent, isn't it? Now, opposite side value is here. It's 12 and adjacent side is 5. So this is an important question because by solving this one, many concepts of the trigonometry can be cleared in just one shot. So do practice this sum. Do not take any chances in the examination. This is one very, very, very important question. Okay. Dear students, one more similar PYQ will be solving in the same video. So be with us and check even that video and that particular sum definitely that is going to be a very important question okay let's check the one more question okay one more important pyq from the 10th standard trigonometry so in this given figure find the value of sine alpha plus cos theta so it's an easy question but some of the students may get confused between alpha and theta so that's why this question is selected very simple question just focus you may get the answer within few minutes and it's a two more question dear students Okay, sine alpha plus cos theta. Okay, as you can see sine alpha in the sense you have to use the trigonometry according to this angle. What is alpha here? Alpha is just a symbol similar to theta. We cannot take two thetas now. So that's why it's given one as alpha and one as theta. You can call it as theta only just for understanding. But this is just a separate symbol for 
the angle that is alpha now writing the alpha or the theta the ideas of trigonometry are not going to change so they remain same let it be whatever with a symbol now what is sine theta formula you all know it's very well sine theta is opposite upon hypotenuse so in this section this is the angle now opposite to this one is three centimeter so this is three opposite upon hypotenuse hypotenuse is five now plus cos theta so cos theta is adjacent side upon hypotenuse cos theta now we have to consider this angle now cos theta so if this is the angle that we're going to consider which one is the adjacent side definitely this is adjacent side and hypotenuse is definitely this one so adjacent side is 3 and hypotenuse is 5 and that's equal to just all this as you can see denominator is 5 you can take it once so 3 plus 3 that's equal to 3 plus 3 gives us 6 upon 5 so one very simple question from the pyq okay but the idea of alpha and theta is very important okay so i think you all have understood the concept of or the idea behind these two sums okay so in the next video we'll be solving few more pyqs so those will be two mark and very important questions we are going to consider so do check the video and subscribe the channel press the bell icon definitely get a notification okay let's meet in the next video